Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today I have an art supply haul to share. All right, so I did find a few really good deals on Amazon. First of all, I have found these Sennelier Postals. This is the portrait set on Amazon, and this at the time was $34, and this was before Amazon Prime Day, so they might have gone down a little more than that even, but um, a viewer had told me that they found these, so that's the reason that I had found these. It seems like that was a really good price. The box is just a teeny bit damaged, so I'm not sure if that's why they were um, such a good price. It's 40 Postals from Sennelier. I'm going to open it up so you can see the actual colors. All right, so I've taken them out of the box. They come very well packaged. They come with a pamphlet that explains about their pigments. Um, oh, they have oil colors. So it looks like it's going to talk about more of the Sennelier products. Oh, I didn't know they had gouache. I did not know they had gouache. Uh-oh. I did not know Sennelier had gouache. I'm in trouble now. And you guys know I love their oil sticks. All right. So this set, let's see what else. Oh, this is talking about their cards and more advertisements of their other products and then oh they send a pastel card okay very nice I'm gonna have to try that sometime and then this is the beautiful colors that come oh look at these so some really nice um, skin tones for portraits but they do have some bright colors as well so this is a lovely set and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is going to be really pretty for portraits but I also think it'll make some nice landscapes because there's some nice greens and browns and earth tones that kind of thing and so, as well some bright colors. So I don't actually do portraits but I thought that this set had enough colors I could use and maybe eventually I will do portraits so that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. This is a pencil. I actually had never tried mechanical pencils and then um, I've had a few sent to me and realized they really are nice because you don't have to mess with sharpening and somebody recommended this brand as a nice, like a really nice mechanical pencil. And they thought since I love fountain pens <laughs> that I would love this. And they happen to have a rose gold pencil I think it's rotary, I'm not sure, but oh, that's pretty for a mechanical pencil. It's a rose gold pencil. I'm going to take it out of the box. All right, so I will read all about that. This this is a this is a really fancy <laughs> mechanical pencil. Thanks to Stationery Pal, I've developed a new love for stationery. And so I had to try this pencil. It's supposed to be a very good brand of a pencil. This is the 0.5 milliliter. I don't know that much about it, but it is quite a bit heavier than any of my other pencils. It feels like it's made out of aluminum. And it seems like I saw you can change the hardness. And that's what I was interested in. So I will have to yeah, you can. Oh, you twist this. And somehow that changes the hardness of the pencil. Turn the knob and select in the little window. It tells you what pencil hardness uh, you're using. So I thought that would be really nice. because It is very pretty. I would call it more pink than rose gold. Um, I'm sure the pencil is going to work beautifully. So it has the directions and they're calling it a technical pen. So I'm going to look at that later. So I can't wait to try that to see how it's any different. Well, it writes quite smooth and I will have to test it to see how it works for drawing and everything. But yeah, it's very pretty and it feels very substantial and 
feels like a pencil I'm going to have to keep in a, a special bag to make sure that I don't lose it and no one else, none of my kids grab it or anything. It feels like it would last a lifetime. Okay, and then so this is a Derwent Gravitant paint pan set and it seems like I did get this at Colt Pens with one of my orders. I think it was on some super sale or something. And says this is a unique blend of graphite paint with a color for dramatic tonal work. And that's what I purchased it for. I thought it would be great to do tonal work. And I have not tried any of Derwent's paints yet. Okay, so this is the, it's got a little, looks like a little swatch sheet to show you the different colors. And it does have some really pretty colors that I thought would be perfect for the fall. Um, and that's what inspired me. Now let's go ahead and swatch out these Derwent. This is the Graphitant paint set. This is a little pocket set and it has different colors and comes in a set of 12. Just going to use my normal swatching brush today. So I'm going to go right in and see how they do. I'm not going to um, spray them first or anything because I typically don't. I like to see what you're really going to get. So this is, oh, that's pretty. Okay, so that is the autumn brown, and that's going to make a really, really fun leaf. Um, you can make like a maple leaf or something. Um, oh, we're gonna have fun today. Yeah, I, um, I just wanna play, I don't, That's really pretty. Um, let's see if we get some. Let's see if we get some. Uh, how it bleeds, how it flows a little. I really should have pulled up some reference photos. I didn't plan on doing any of this. I just, um, I'm just in the mood. I don't know. Just having one of those days <laughs> where I just want to play all day with new supplies. Uh, let's see how it shows up. I'm, I'm using budget paper. This is budget paper because this is a project product. Let's see. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I really like the way that it's settling in the texture of the paper, even though this is budget paper. Um, this is gonna be really pretty. Flowing nice. Okay, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. All right, and then when they dry, you can see, I think they um, are showing a little bit of granulation, and I think that's because of the, um, the graphite mixed in there. So you might be able to mix your own with just using, um, I mean, if you would want to. These are really affordable, so to me, they wouldn't be worth messing with <laughs> grinding your own graphite, but I think you could if you really wanted to. So this is a more muted green color. And this is Meadow, so this is a lighter green. Looks like it's a, got some, they're yellow. Kind of a yellow green. Oh, I like that color better actually. And then this is Green Gray. These are gonna be perfect for fall. This one is Slate Green. That one's a little nicer to me. This is Ocean Blue. Those are pretty similar. That's just slightly more blue. That's pretty. I actually kind of like that one. 
Okay, next is steel blue. See how they dry. It's, it's like when you swatch them, they're all pretty, but it's once they dry. Dark indigo. Ooh, this looks pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Aubergine. This one's like, see how big that is out of the, I don't know if it's not all the way down or, oh, this is pretty too. I'm liking these more than I actually thought I would. Juniper. So these might do even better if you spray them first, but I, I don't typically do that. This is more of a pink tone. It's really pretty too. And then we have port. It's even more pink. So if you own any of these products, I would love to know what you do with them. There's port. Okay. I especially love the indigo. That's really pretty. Could make that into like some um I don't know how they're going to mix the juniper maybe. They seem to mix pretty well together. I'm just making a mess, but best. Uh, this is a swatching brush. This is not for doing leaves. <laughs> okay, so those are gonna be fun to play with. You can see a bit of the granulation comes out. That's why I like this paper. This is the um, upgrade paper. They sent me a ton of it. So, and it actually shows granulation and it's at the time it was sent to me, it was like $17 for 35 sheets. So it's not cotton, it's cellulose, but I really like that it shows the granulation really well. Um, now at Jackson's, I did place um, a few orders for the last couple of months, just when things came in stock and such. And I did pick out a few colored pencils. Put those out. So I did get four colored pencils from the Karen Dosh Pablo line. And but I really don't think I'm going to need the complete set unless I find a really good sale. So this time I chose a turquoise green, which I expect to like more than the turquoise blue that I have. Uh, this is aubergine as well as purple violet and then mouse gray. So let me go ahead and swatch those. I like colored pencil best on hot press, so I'm going to use more of this Paul Rubens. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, and then last is aubergine. I think is how you say it. Oh, I love this. This is kind of a dark plum color. And this is perfect for fall to me. And I think that, um, like, you could just draw like a mushroom, and it's going to be, um, it's going to be really fun. I think this would be really pretty. I'll probably just skip ahead, um, part and show parts. Yeah, I think these are going to be, since they're a little harder, they're going to be really good at uh, the fine detail and adding shadows and that kind of thing. Here are the color pencils all swatched out, and I've enjoyed them much more using them on hot press paper. I'm sure I tried that at some point, but it uh, just goes to show you really have to try different papers with different materials. I've never enjoyed the Pablos as much as I did today, and I don't know if it's because I chose colors that I'm drawn to, or the paper, or a bit of both. I'm, I'm guessing a bit of both. But uh, yeah, those were fun, and let me know if you have the Karen Dosh Pablo pencils, how much you like them. I am not ashamed. I love trying all the different colors, and I have been looking for these. I think one of my viewers told me about these quite a bit ago, like more maybe a year ago. And 
I have been going back and forth trying to decide if I needed these because I do love Holbein gouache. Schmincke is still number one, but Holbein is probably number two. And they have these curated sets, which these are just so me because I love having all the colors. And then each season I select kind of more of a curated palette. And I do that for most of my supplies. I do that for colored pencils. I do that for watercolor palettes and now gouache palettes. Um, I hope I'm not crazy. I hope I'm not the only one who does that. <laughs> but I really, really enjoy it. And, and it makes me try new mixes. And so I've had these on my wish list for quite a long time. And I, I kept looking at the different pigment information to see which ones I really would want. And I chose spring and winter. Boxes are stunning. I'm not gonna lie, that, that really added to me wanting them is because they come in these beautiful boxes. I do tend to collect art supplies as much as I use them. I kind of collect them. It's, it's like three different hobbies, separate hobbies for me and all fun. Um, and I enjoy each of them immensely. As long as I use them, I don't feel bad. I would have loved to get the fall as well mostly because the box is gorgeous though. So I was able to find these on Amazon and they were half off. They were $34 each. And so that made it much easier <laughs> because it's only 12, it's 12 tubes. But yes, once I found that really good deal, I, I just took that as a sign it was meant to be. <laughs> so let me take these out of the packages and I'll show you the colors. So again, maybe they were on sale because the box is damaged, which I'm totally okay with. I really am. <laughs> I'll buy all their damaged boxes if I can have the gorgeous watercolors. Then the top is really pretty and I'm going to store them in these beautiful boxes. So pretty, so much thought went into these and I really do, I love when companies sell items in a seasonal set. I really do love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all of these gorgeous colors. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what part is more exciting, the fact that I got these on sale or that I have all of these gorgeous colors that I've wanted for such a long time. <laughs> um, but I am just giddy. Okay, they all are in large 15 milliliter tubes and they have the pigment information true character of Holbein, they have multi-pigments, but I still don't find them to paint muddy or anything. So, so on the box, there's some writing and mostly in Japanese, it has some safety information. The box is simply stunning. I just love it so much. All right. Okay. So this set comes with uh, vermilion, um, pale coral, I'll just let you guys read that one. <laughs> Korea, Japonica, yellow. I have no idea. I'm not going to butcher the Japanese language. Lemon, light ochre, pale patina, seedling. Look at this. Moasitis blue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, it looks so gorgeous. I cannot wait to swatch these out. Dayflower Blue, Bellflower, Silver Gray, as well as Antique Silver. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so really, really pretty colors. Now, most of these, they might be convenient mixes. Like this one looks like it's got a lot of white in it. All of this writing is in Japanese. The information I need the most is the pigment information. It's right here. So this is made from PB29, I believe PB60, and PW6. Each of the tubes do have the opacity as well as the, this has a light fastness of two stars. Okay, yeah, so this one is four stars. So gorgeous set, I'm so glad to have this. This is the winter set, it has a beautiful crane and some, it looks like the volcano mountain and it has 12 tubes of gouache and they are the, and they are the large 15 milliliter and 
Oh, they're so cool. I mean, the tubes themselves are just really nice. Um, I love them. So this set comes with crimson, iron oxide red, russet brown, dark brown, patina, russet green, geisha blue, hummingbird blue. Oh, look at this. Peony. Oh, that looks stunning. Oh, I can't wait to swatch that out. Um, Riku Gray, Blue Black, and Antique Gold. And I can't remember which gold I have. I have one of the tubes of Holbein Gold, and it's really nice. So, so I will be swatching these in another video, and... Uh, playing with them a little bit in a separate video Not right away, but I probably won't wait. I probably won't be able to wait too long Because these colors look absolutely gorgeous and honestly a lot of them could be used for fall So I cannot wait to play with those and then this set I Want to say I would wait till spring, but I know me as soon as Christmas is over I go straight to flowers and florals and everything not winter so I probably will save this till after Christmas and play with that so but I'm very happy to have these two but just know there are deals out there if you just watch for them <laughs> you can have you can sometimes find good deals next I have a set of metallic watercolor paints from Artix now Artix did reach out to me and ask if I would like to try these and I've really loved everything that I've tried from Artix so far so of course I was more than happy to uh, let them send them to me so let me open this box up and let's check these out carefully open this so it says these are made in China Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that cool? This box is like shimmery. You guys see that? It's like even the box they made shimmery. So this is a very interesting box. I have never received any paints in this kind of box. Uh, but both sides, they're, I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but they made them glimmer. Like, I wonder if this is supposed to be like a holiday set. Um, when I looked, when they, you know, asked me if I'd like to try them and I tried, they weren't available to on Amazon or anything yet. So I wasn't able to pull up any information, uh, but I'm sure they'll be, if they're not on Amazon now, I'm sure they'll be coming soon. Um, but, oh, look at these pretty colors. Okay, so they, this set comes with lime, earthshine, onyx, scarlet, Caribbean, lemon coral and grape so i guess that's not christmas but it sure looks <laughs> the packaging sure looks like a holiday package um i was hoping it was a seasonal <laughs> again <laughs> i'm not gonna lie okay uh says they're four grams and there's eight colors so let's see oh the packaging is really cute they make the cutest packaging okay so it's eight colors it says they're bright colors and glitter effect Oh, it says they're handmade and easy to dip, um, delicate and silky. So this is, it's kind of like a cardboard, I'd say cardboard plus, because it does feel like it has a little bit of something that would make it a little bit, um, what should I call it, um, water resistant? I wouldn't say waterproof, but water resistant. But you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... Um, when I used to love makeup, I used, before I loved art supplies, I loved makeup. <laughs> and they would have palettes and they had some eyeshadow palettes that came in a case like that. So I wonder if that's what this inspired this set. And then to open it, oh, it's magnetic. Okay, that's why. It's kind of magnetic, look at that, that's kind of cool. Okay. So then you open them and oh my gosh, look at how pretty. They are very smooth. They are smoother than any metallic paints I've seen. They all are, if that's coming through, but they kind of look like, you know, when you go to weddings and they have those like mints, the, the little candies that people have made. Um, <laughs> that's what they look like to me, but giant. 
So that's very interesting. And then there's little gaps in the, um, they kind of have a, um, this feels like it would definitely be waterproof. Um, so very interesting packaging. I'm kind of fascinated by the packaging. And then there's like a little hole. Oh, I bet that's so you can put your finger in. Okay. So then I can go ahead and rearrange the colors. Oh, they're in a little metal pan. It's very lightweight though. This is like very, very, I don't know if this, I guess it's, it might be plastic actually. It might be plastic that looks like metal because they're very lightweight. All right, so I'm going to quickly rearrange the colors because you know me, I've got to have my colors in like a rainbow order. <laughs> I'm really glad they gave you the option to change the yellow. One thing I will say though, is that they are large. They're very large. And yeah, I think that's a plastic. So they're, yeah, they're plastic because they're not attracted to the, I think I'm pretty sure they're plastic. So there's yellow. So I have to change my order because I'm, I'm weird like that. I have to have it like in a rainbow order. <laughs> And um, if, not, if I don't, then I really can't think straight. It's nothing personal. I love that they give you a turquoise. Such pretty colors. All right. All right, so I've rearranged the colors, and these look fun, but there's no pigment information or um, anything like that. But I think for metallic paints, I don't think for metallic paints it really matters. So, but let's go ahead and swatch these. I have white paper and black paper because I thought it would be useful to see them on both. This white paper is not cotton. And then I do have some cotton black paper. This is the um, Stonehenge uh, black paper. What I've learned with metallics is uh, if they're handmade, sometimes they reactivate uh, pretty fast and they don't need to soak. These look really smooth and they actually look like they may not need to soak. So what I'm going to do, swatch one set right away without letting the paint activate and then one set separate. And I've learned to do that with all of my metallic paints because some sets need uh, like the Fine Tex and Calero. I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody leave a bad review for the Calero paints, which are amazing. But people say they're streaky and they don't work well. Well, it's because they didn't let the paints activate. You really need to let the water activate those paints. And But with a lot of other handmade paints, I've noticed you don't need to do that. So I've learned to just swatch them twice to, so I can tell um, you know, what I'm working with and <laughs> if it needs activated, if it needs to sit a bit or not. So I'll do that twice. So I'm using a new paintbrush. This is the Princeton Velvet Touch and it's a wash brush. So I think it's going to do nicely. So I'm just gonna go in and see how they activate right away. Yeah, they are activating right away. I've noticed that on some paints. So there's yellow. It's going to do I probably should have just done one to keep it, but oh well. All right, and then now we'll do the, I believe they call this coral. These, I think they might do better. Most metallic paints do, but like the Paul Rubens, I don't find those need to sit very long and These are very smooth, very smooth. And I think I would call them pearlescent. They're very pretty. I can see these really making um, some really pretty holiday cards. 
The case is very unique. So here's the purple color. I can't remember the name of it. Really pretty purple. I like that a lot. Now let's do the blue. I'm really pleased on how fast these activate. They, I mean, right away they're ready to go. And the more water you use, probably the better. I use more water on that one, so. So I'm not going to do a review. I'm just kind of going to do kind of a first impression for you guys. So this is the Caribbean, which you know I'm going to love. I love some turquoise. Oh, that's so pretty. These are actually reminding me of the Schmincke metallic so far, that they're so smooth. But it's been a while since I pulled those out. Um, you can't buy them, so that makes me kind of hoard them for that one. And next is this kind of green color. I do really like that you don't have to wait um, to use this. Oh, this was the lime. It's really pretty. Yeah, they kind of almost look more pearlistic than uh, metallic. Okay, next we have the, I forget what color they called this, the black. I probably used more water. Kind of a silver black. It's really pretty though. Okay. So that's what the colors look right out if you don't let them set. So I've taken a little dropper and I've added a little bit of water to each of the pans and I'm going to let those sit for three minutes while we do something else, <laughs> while we look at something else. And then we'll come back and swatch these and see if it makes much of a difference and the color payoff. So, so far here is what the color swatches look like. Really pretty. I would call them more kind of a, of a pearlescent. Seems like they kind of look pearly. That's coming across, they're very pretty. Okay, and then here is on black. Really pretty. Okay, I expect them to do even better after they've set for a while, as most metallic paints do. Ooh, look at that creamy goodness. They just, that's what I love about metallic paints is just, it's just creamy. So pretty. All right, I'm going to load my brush up. See, because I've let it activate, it is creamier and I'm able to get a lot more of my brush much easier. So let's go right in and see. Um... Stay in camera. So I did two swipes. Let's try to keep it the same. Okay. Okay, now let's try this coral color. Oh, see, yes. When they act when you let them activate, they just get this creamy Beautiful. It's almost mes mesmerizing just watching the paints to me. All right. It's the coral. Okay, I'm just going to do one pass on that paper. Try to keep it the same, but... And that's metallic paints usually don't look so well on white paper. Depends, it really depends. Um, 
this is really pretty. This is kind of a pinkish red color. Just hope I'm staying on camera. Oh, that's pretty too. See, I think these are going to be a lot of fun for the holidays. That's probably when I use metallics the most. Everything's sparkly, everything's pretty, and I messed up my swatch. <laughs> so it looks like it is better if you activate them, but you can play with them right away. So it's you can use them either way. Oh, this purple is so pretty. <laughs> I forgot to do the white. I got too excited. They're very, very, very creamy. And there's not a smidge of any uh, grittiness or anything. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Yeah, they're, they are, um, for paints that I have so far, they remind me the most of the Schmincke. Um, I think they call them pearlescent. I'm not sure. And I'll have to use side by side, but just from memory. Now, Schmincke's might be light fast, and these I don't expect to be light fast. So don't don't go buying these thinking they're going to be um, light fast or anything. There's no information, so I take that as that they're not. And I honestly, I don't care if metallic paints are light fast myself. Clearo and Fine Tech are often uh, light fast, which is nice, but you pay dearly for them. I'm probably going to use them sometimes <laughs> right away and sometimes wait a bit but it's nice to have the option to do both it really is nice to have the option okay oh so stunning okay my swatches are getting bigger because <laughs> the more I like them my, my swatches are getting bigger all right now let's do this uh, That's a stunning color. Okay, let's go back a second pass. I don't know why I decided to do this today, but I just wanted a big brush to uh, make it easy to go in and get some color. Lime, this is a really pretty color too. Really pretty. All right, um, second pass. Okay, so I'm sorry this is running so long, but uh, I'm trying to make this video helpful. Next is this kind of a smoke black color. That's a really, it's like a silver black. I can't remember what they called it. And Then on the black, really pretty. Needed a little more water actually. I didn't, that one sat the longest of course, so it's already, some of the water's evaporated. Okay, so I want those to dry. So while those are drying, all right, so I'm just going to load up my brush and I'm going to do some like, um, Let's just do a quick little, kind of a, a loose floral wreath kind of thing. I don't really know what I'm doing because I didn't really plan this, but it just, they, these paints just look like they would be good for Christmas. So I want to do a few little leaves. 
and I'm mostly doing the letting the brush do my work because it's got a big fat body and it's really good for florals and things that like leaves and stuff um, but you can use any brush I want to make some that have the um, kind of a the white showing still Now let's try this pretty turquoise color. I think this would be good for some kind of like pine branches. Do a paint live with you guys. So I'd love your feedback on if you want to do live painting like this or if you just want to see the swatches. Um, I really want to make videos that are helpful and um, but I really I hate I hate doing voiceover videos so <laughs> I don't I but when I paint on camera I feel like I'm always um, rushing because I don't want to bore you. I'd love to know what you guys do for your Christmas cards. I think I'd like to do some baubles too, some like um, Christmas ornaments. That, that seemed too simple and that's probably what I should have started with. Let's add some of this red, this kind of pinkish red color and make some little berries. So make sure and check the description box to see if I have any coupons. You guys have to be like me and if you're trying new things you want them on sale, right? Okay, I, I really didn't plan anything, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't plan on doing this at all, but um, these paints are pretty, and I wanted to play a little. So then let's do another one right here. Let's see how they paint over after they've dried. Definitely want to wait till they've dried. All right. Um, and then just really quick, I want to see if I can mix them and get darker tones. Um, so like if we take the green, let's and see how they mix because since you have a limited palette, it's really nice, but let's do a little bit of purple first to see if we could get a kind of a darker green. Ooh, that's, see, that's pretty. Okay, I want some more green this time. Okay, so see, I could get a darker tone. I was able to get like a pretty rose gold. So you could try mixing them and see what other colors you can get. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay, that's the color I need here. You could also just add the black, but I kind of like to see what else they'll do. Now that those have dried. Um, yeah, see that's what I needed. I needed some contrast. I wasn't liking it very much, but I just needed a little contrast. So that's, I like that much better now. And I hope these have all dried, but you really should let them dry in between, but I'm trying to be quick here. And like I said, I'm not sure at the time of this filming how much these are going to be, but um, definitely check them out if you're interested and see how much they are. So I am definitely going to go in later and um, add some more contrast and everything, but you get the idea. But look at how shimmery those are. They are pretty. Thing about these is they're very very smooth if they've ground the pigments I don't know how this is going to hold up too much water paint on there I'm afraid it would get paint on that top part so I'm going to let these dry all the way before I close them so when the swatches are dry this is what they look like so this row is when I went in and I did not let the paint activate pretty similar
a little bit more opaque, a little more color vibrancy when they've activated for a couple minutes with water. Very pretty. Now on black, you can tell a little more, letting the water sit and letting the water activate the paint, the pigments, what is a little more noticeable on black. So, so far I really like the uh, slibline case and the colors they included are nice. Uh, this is what they look like after they've dried. They dry nice. They're still very smooth.